students, parents and teachers. Good afternoon and welcome to our Term 4 Week 1 Virtual Assembly. We will now have the acknowledgement of country. As we gather today in this special place, place together we acknowledge the First, First Nations, Nations people, people, the traditional custodians of this land. We should always remember that under the buildings, concrete, concrete and playground, playground the, the land was and always will be home to the Gwigal people of the Darawal Nation. Together we pay respect to elders, elders both past and present, and to the young people of today, as they embrace, embrace their, their connection to country. Mrs Roach will now address the assembly. Hi everyone, welcome to the virtual assembly for the end of week one, our first one for term four. Thanks to our fantastic captains for their intros for our assembly today. I'm sorry I couldn't get the assembly to you on Friday, but we had some dramas at school. We had no power at all because on the Thursday night when the Southerly came through, a power pole that is in the front car park on Buckle Avenue blew over and it took out all of our mains power. So Friday was a bit of a struggle and a bit of a different day at school. I'll put some photos in just after I finish speaking so you can see what was happening at school. It's not long now till we're all back at school and I'm encouraging you right here to stay strong and keep going with your learning from home because we haven't got long to go. This week is the last week where we will just have the children of essential workers at school. Next week we're inviting kindergarten and year one back and the following week on the 25th of October, years two, three, four, five and six. It's so exciting that everyone's going to be back on site. I'm really looking forward to it and so are the teachers. The teachers are going to continue with their remote teaching so you can continue with your remote learning. I have to extend congratulations to Mrs Dodd. Did you know Mrs Dodd was nominated by Mason Hayes Conway in her class for a competition on Today FM and it's called Today FM's Teacher of the Week competition and she was nominated and last week, late last week, Mrs Dodd was interviewed on the morning show and Mason was there as well being interviewed and they had a nice little chat and we're very proud of Mrs Dodd and extend our thanks to Mason and Mason's family for nominating Mrs Dodd. A little bit of fun and Mrs Dodd told me she was very, very nervous but she did very, very well. Stay strong everyone, that's the end of it for today. Congratulations to all the award winners and I can't wait to see you really, really soon. Bye everyone. We will now have the Kindy Awards. Well, now that our country is starting to open up with the change of restrictions, I've decided to read our awards today from our library and I've decided to look at an atlas because I'm wondering where I'd like to visit. So first of all, I've decided Tasmania might be the place to go and listen to the fun places I'm going to visit. First of all, I'm going to start with William Brown, Matteo Ellis and Amelia Smythe Gaps in Tassie. Then I'm going to head north of Adelan Pinnock and visit Hayden Barnes and Flynn Bowerman. Really interesting places. I'm going to head west from there and visit Mackenzie Brenner, Zachary Naker and Zoe Camselois. I hope I said that right, Zoe. I have to learn better, don't I? Following visiting those amazing places, I'm going to circle around and I'm going to visit a Flynn Abbott and a really interesting place called Cora Coverson. And then I'm going to finish my Tasmanian trip visiting Scarlet Barnes. Fun fact, did you know that the floral emblem of Tasmania is the Southern Blue Gum and the longest river is the Esk River? 
and it's 200 kilometres long. Early Stage 1 Award recipients. We will now have the Stage 1 Awards. Heading north from Tasmania into Victoria, we're going to find some wonderful Stage 1 places to visit. First of all, I'm going to start just east of Melbourne and visit Emily McGiven, Rhys Ellis and Kai Crucifully. Then from there, I'm going to travel a little bit north to see Greta English, Madison Hibbert and Willow Sharp. Close by to Willow Sharp, but a very different place to visit is Ebony Vickery, then Ben Tuck and Taj Gordon. Steeped in culture, I'm then going to find a tiny little place on the map called Z Jordan Zamet, and that's right close to Isaac Dodds and Izzy Relf. Then I'm going to head north near the border and I'm going to see Isla Bloom, Madison Hooper and Jarvis Richmond. And then from the border from New South Wales, I'm going to head west to the border of South Australia. And I'm going to see Gracie Hurrigan, Marley Peacock and Xavier Hodge. Really interesting places to visit. But I can't forget these super places that I've been advised are really interesting on the coast. So you get a combination of land and water. And that's Maxon de Silva Peck, Maya Luke and Andreas Strathcarkis. I've heard they are amazing places to visit. And fun fact, did you know that the floral emblem for Victoria is the pink heath? And the highest mountain and the highest place in Victoria is Mount Bogong. I just like saying Bogong. And did you know the longest river in Victoria is the Goulburn River? Now, don't you find that funny? Because there's a place called Goulburn in New South Wales. Hmm. Congratulations to our year one and two students. Next to the stage two awards. Now heading north from Victoria, I've decided to skip New South Wales and the Australian Capital Territory. I feel like I know them pretty well. And in my planning for holidays, I'd like to go to some places I haven't been before. So I'm going to head up to Queensland and into the Gold Coast. And in the Gold Coast hinterlands, first I'm going to start there with Bailey Morris, Ashlyn Hess and Liam Croker. Then I'm going to head east to the coast on the Gold Coast, south of Brisbane. And I'm going to see Luca Cartledge, Ashton Mulsimmer and Mitchell Francis. Then I'm going to head further up along the beautiful barrier reef. I love a bit of warm weather. I'm going to see Max Osborne, Bo Elias and Archie Dunn. Then heading west and inland into the dry country, I'm going to see Melissa Tuck, Kaylee Pendergast and Kirby Thomas. I've heard they're great places, really interesting, lots of history. Then I'm going to head right up into the Cape Country and I'm going to visit Jessica Welsh, Capri McCarthy and Cooper Caruana. Not to be forgotten, these little places on the map but so interesting, Holly Connor, Matilda Downs and Jack Fripp. I can't wait to visit Queensland. Beautiful one day, perfect the next. Congratulations, you three and four award recipients. Next to the stage three awards. So now I'm heading west, right? west all the way to the largest state that covers the largest area of our big country and that is Western Australia. I'm going to start on the border of the Northern Territory in Western Australia and I'm starting by visiting Victoria Bloomfield, Charlotte Crookshank and Mia Smith. Then I'm heading to the Pilbara. Now the Pilbara is a very interesting area full of rich iron ore mining and I have family that live in the Pilbara. So it's handy that I'm going to see these places, Zola Jenkins, Chevelle Thomas and Brett Sterling. Then I'm going to head a little bit south to see Jordan Kateris, Ella Martin and Jacob Sharp. Further south, way further south down to Perth, but still in Western Australia, I'm going to see Zane Garvin, Taylor Mann and Max Vaness. I've heard they're really interesting. And it's, it's a nice change to see the sun come up from a different direction when you're in the west. When you're in the east, we see the sun come up over the water. 
but in the west it comes up over the land. So I'll have to turn around. And when I do turn around, I'm going to see Reed Cousins, Jack Garvin and Tilly Grady. Should be really interesting. Then I'm going to head west. No, I'm not. I'll be in the water. I'm going to head a little bit east then to the gold mining country, the rich lands of Caden Mangione, Dash Ferguson and Audrey Knapp. And I understand that there's a lot of gold to be found at Finlay Navin, Amy Williams and Indy Patterson. I can't wait to strike it rich in the West with those amazing places to visit. Ooh -ha -ha. Congratulations to five and six award recipients. Thank you to all students and teachers who are demonstrating the valuable learning experiences taking place during teaching and learning from home. This concludes this week's virtual assembly. Thank you for your attendance this afternoon. See ya!